Hello, this is Stefan from Conductor, and I'm very excited to move on to this new section of the course for Kafka Extended APIs for Developers. So this is a short intro, but it's going to explain to you what we're going to see next. So we have learned about all the Kafka fundamentals, and we've seen consumers and producers. And these have existed for a very, very long time, but they're considered low-level APIs because we have to deal directly with sending and receiving messages in Apache Kafka. But then Kafka and the ecosystem has introduced over time some APIs that are going to be higher level and they're going to solve specific sets of problems. So the schema registry is going to help using schemas in Apache Kafka. Kafka Connect is going to solve how to take data from an external source, add it into Kafka, and then from Kafka into an external sync. Kafka Streams is going to do stream processing and do transformations from Kafka to Kafka. And KSQL DB is going to be a layer on top of, KSQL, of, of Kafka Streams, sorry, to make Kafka Streams even easier. So we'll get an intro to all of those in this section, and we'll see how Conductor will help do to manage those and integrate with Schema Registry, Kafka Connect, Kafka Streams, and KSQL DB. So if we wanted to get one diagram to understand which APIs do what in Kafka, then Kafka is going to be at the center. And if we want to write data to send directly from devices, applications into Kafka, we could write our own Kafka producer. And if we wanted to have some custom code, we could write our own Kafka consumer to read the data. But if we have a source database, for example, and many different kinds of technologies are working with Kafka Connect, we will just deploy a Kafka Connect connector and be done with it. And if we wanted to sync data into target databases, again, it is very helpful for us to use a Kafka Connect sync connector. Then if we want to do stream processing, so modifying the data in real time within Apache Kafka, then we would use the Kafka Streams API. And then if we wanted to simplify using Kafka Streams, because Kafka Streams is a Java API, we could use KSQL to use SQL interface on top of Kafka Streams to make it even simpler. So that's it for a short intro of this section. I will see you in the next lecture to discuss the schema registry.